All right, this is, uh, together we're gonna create a stock research dashboard and I'm excited for this tutorial because it's gonna link three tables together. So here we go. First table we're gonna do is a master table for our tickers. So I'm gonna create a new uh, table. Uh, it's gonna be table. I always create tables as full pages. And this will be ticker. I'm going to call it company master. So here we'll have the company name. Then we're going to add um, ticker. Make that text. Then we're going to add, let's say, um, industry. We'll make this a uh, single select. And we'll add. Uh, fiscal year end, and we'll make this a date. Then I'm gonna populate this with some make-believe info. So let's say Snapchat, and then let's say, um, I don't know, what's a old school General Electric? So the ticker here is Snap, I believe. The ticker here is GE. The industry, these are selectors, so this will be tech. This one will be um, industrials. I don't know when this is, oops. Industrials. Uh, I'm not sure when the fiscal year end is, um, but let's just say 9.30 for this one. And then let's say, 12, 12, 31, for this one. Okay, so here's an important distinction for the company level. All the information that we can have here can only appear once. So you can't, if you have like four earning call notes, you can't put them in this table because then you're gonna have to keep adding columns for earning calls. This is why we're gonna create this as a database. So in our second video, we're gonna create the log for each company. All right, we're on part two of our, our stock research dashboard. So the first one, we created a table, a master table that has unique information that only appears once for every ticker. Now we have information that appears many times for a ticker. Uh, quarterly reports, analyst reports, industry reports, your own memos, and so we create, we're gonna create a second table. And so I'm gonna go in, hit the trusty plus sign, I'll hit table, I always do a full, full page table. And we're gonna call this one company, company meeting log. Now think about this as the subject. So remember, every table is a page. Your page will be in this cell there's a full page, and so your notes would go in here. And then we can add metadata, which I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna call this subject. Uh, for tags, we're gonna do um, meeting type, uh, student type. And so this will be a multi-select, just so we can pick from a, different, a variety of different options. So this will be, it can be earnings uh, recap. It could be earnings preview. It could be, um, Analyst, analyst call, it could be industry research, it could be internal research. So these are all different types. I'm gonna delete them all so that we can clean this up. We'll add them later. Um, files, so here you could link a file. So for example, here's Snaps 10Q. I could link Snaps 10Q into this uh, cell, um, embed link, paste, and we've got Snaps links here. So here, this could be Snapchat Q3 um, Q3 19 filing, and this could be an earnings recap. And then let's just add a few other types. Um, we could do the date. Let's add the date that this was 
and so here we have a date type and then we could do let's do medium so medium I don't know if this will be helpful but medium will be a single select so this could be um, call meeting one-on-one uh, -on -one or conference okay so these are so this would be a call uh, date and then one last ranking if I want to do a ranking we'll make this a number that way we can quickly find the best notes um, we can sort by ticker by ranking so this will be a number type uh, and there you have it. So that is the meeting log. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to populate it and show you how to link the two together. All right, now I'm back in our company meeting log. I just populated it with a few examples. I did some events for Snapchat, um, filings, analyst day, and I added something for GE and basically filled out the data. Now here's the magic, magic, magic. Here's where the freaking magic happens. Now, I'm gonna add, go into type, and I'm just gonna add a column. Uh, I just wanna do it to the left here so that um, it's very clear what I'm doing. Insert column, and so we get uh, property. Now this is, this is where the Notion class is gonna be sick. Uh, you, you go to property type and you go to relation, advanced. This is some advanced ninja stuff. So you hit relation, boom. And it's going to say, what table do you want to link this company meeting log to? And you say, huh, I wonder which one. Oh, it will be the one with all the tickers. And that one is called company master. So we go in. Oops. It's called company. What is it called? Company master. And then you hit boom, create relation. And so here we're going to link to the ticker. Now watch this. Watch this. So Snapchat Q3, oh, look at my options. This is from my other table, Snapchat, boom. Oh, Snapchat, boom. Oh, Snapchat, boom. Uh, and we got a GE. Now look at that. Now we can, um, I'm gonna show you, we can combine all these things together. We can pull up Snapchat note, meeting notes. We can pull up analyst calls for all your companies and so on and so forth. I want to show you one little last trick. So let's say that you want to, and remember each of these page, so Snapchat's earnings notes, you would just type them in here like they were a page. Um, but let's say you want to have a loose template within a filing. Look at this, look what we can do here. So you click on this little teeny weensy arrow and you say new template. And you'll see this yellow bar that says you're editing a template. So this will be a earnings recap template. And again, remember, a lot of your structured data can go in these different fields. But let's just say you want to have a few commonalities. You might have a presenter. And then you could say like TK, TK, TK. You might have, um, you don't need to put things like dates here because they're going to be in your uh, log. You could say uh, main takeaways, just, and then you could have like one, two, three, and then you could have something like uh, raw notes. Now, every time you do an earnings call, a recap, whether it's Snapchat, whether it's GE, whether it's God knows who, you could then use this as a template, but you could also overwrite it. There, this is just like a loose, loose template. Um, so we do that, we hit back and then watch this. Now let's say we're doing, we have Snapchat Q3 19. Let's say we have Snapchat Q, Q4 19. So we go into new um, and we'll type Snapchat Q4 19 and look here earnings recap template booyakasha how you like me now this one's for you evan all right that's a wrap okay so now i'm just getting straight up greedy and i want to teach you how to use a third table this time to assign tasks specific tasks to a company uh, and so let's create yet another table 
here's a trick. You could use slash command. So slash and then table. I type it in. Then I owe it full page. I like using full page because I can always then synthesize my data, data in a view, which we'll show in a separate video. So this will be company task list. And then again, this will be the uh, task. Then you guys know this already, but this will be the ticker. So we go to relation. We select from a database. It's called um, company master. Company master, we create the relationship. Uh, we don't need a file. So the next will be a uh, date. This will be a uh, due date. Then we'll add a uh, priority, which will be a single select. Single select. And I'll just hard code my options in high, medium, low. So we do just so that we have them. Uh, and then priority ticker. Oh. A checkbox it completed uh, uh, a checkbox perfect so let's a new task for snap and that could be uh, uh, let's say prepare uh, well, let's say go through conference GS GS conference notes uh, and then we pick our ticker. Oh, I love this part. Uh, is there a due date? Yeah, let's make it from now. Uh, and then we'll make the priority medium. All right, so, and then we could create another one, but uh, I'll just save you guys a detail. So that now, again, we have three tables that are linked, and then we have one last video that's gonna show you how to put it all together. We've made it this far. This is the last video. Thank you guys for following along. And uh, did I say I've got a Notion course where you can get endless amounts of this shit? Uh, all right, cool. So let's put it all together. Like all this Snapchat information is scattered across these tables, but show me a place where I can use it all. So with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a view off of these different tables. Now this is the magic of Notion. You can combine different views onto a new page. So let's just say we wanna have a Snapchat dashboard. So I go to a slash page and I'll do Snapchat dashboard. Let's say um, the first thing I want is to keep track of all the um, to do's. Outstanding to do's. This, this is just text. So now again, I'm gonna, I hope you guys learned the slash command slash. Now this is, a, this is the trick, link to a table. So link to create linked database. Sorry, trick myself sometimes. Uh, so you click that. And so which database do we want? Let's do the task list. Uh, oops, company task list. Da, 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 da. Here is one of our, uh, here's our task list from Snapchat. So. What I then can do is um, I could, uh, let's see, I could change the view. Let's say I wanted to make this look like a, con like a Trello style board. So I would click on these three dots here. This gets to table properties. We'll go to properties. And then, oops, sorry. Click on these. Oh, screwed up, screw up, screw up, screw up. Um, add a view. This gives you the views. So let's make this a board. And this will be uh, to do board. Okay. There's a bunch of uh, uh, tasks that were, these were just empties because I put spaces in them. Here you have uh, all of our tasks, there's only one, one, but we could add one here. Let's say, uh, and this would add it to the real database. This could say prepare for, um, prepare for Q, Q4 earnings. 
prepare model for RiverQ for earnings. I could click it to actually open this. Remember, these are all these are all pages. It would ask me for my ticker, snap. snap. This would actually update the table we just did. We could put a due date by the end of the month, and then uh, we could assign it a priority uh, high. And then click out. There it is, boom. Now, now let's, we could also hide these. So let's say um, this no, no priority, um, this would be under properties. Um, let's see, actually I'm struggling. Uh, I don't remember how to hide these. So we'll do, we'll, oh, there you go, hide. And here you go. These are our three columns. And as we new task, this would be just for Snapchat. So let's do another one. Let's do like a list of all of our, um, let's do a list of all of um, our analyst calls. So again, I'll do, let me just create a divider. Now I'll do a list of analyst, list of earnings calls. And then again, I add a new linked, create linked database, so slash create linked database. I'm gonna find, this is under company log, company meeting log. And so here is our table, but look, we got some GE. So what we could do is click on these three dots and say, um, Go to prop, uh, go to filter, and we could say only show me uh, companies where ticker contains Snapchat. Oh, snap, chat! And then let's say let's rank them by the the things that are most important to us. So we go to the three dots again. And we say rank sort by rank. By rank. Uh, now we're sorted by rank. And let's just re, let's hide this date column because we want it to just things to be super. So we can go into properties and then we can hide the columns. We don't need to see the files. They're not deleting anything. We're just changing. We don't need to see the ticker because we already know um, and we want to move the type to the second column. Type of order. Oops, I'm going to do the first column. Bow, 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 chicka, wow, wow, look at that. And again, you don't have to sort by ticker. You could sort by important. You could sort, sort by high. You could sort by analyst calls. You could sort by things that are outstanding. The possibilities are endless now. Hope you like this. Did I say I got a Notion course? Notion.courses. HTTP colon slash notion.courses. Love you guys.